The ocean, it's big, like really big. It's pretty easy for all sorts of weird and mysterious stuff to hidden in there, far away in that cold wetness where no one can find them. But nothing stays hidden forever. From an unknown species of underwater fish to a steamship that had been lost for 90 years, here are 20 creepiest things found in the ocean. Number 20. Discovery of new species of deep sea crown jelly. The ocean easily makes up the most of the mass of this planet, so it's pretty huge. With something as big as that, you can expect that it'd be pretty deep too. I'm talking so deep that we currently don't have the technology that could take us to the deepest parts of the ocean floor kind of deep. Being home to a great number of underwater life, of which only 1% has been discovered by scientists, one can only imagine how much of them are hidden down there. That was exactly the case with organization MBARI who had discovered a wild new species for an already common underwater organism. The deep sea crown jelly atolla is one of the most common creatures living at the ocean's midnight zone, which as the name suggests Jess is the part of the ocean that's very devoid of flight. This particular jellyfish, just like most other organisms here on Earth, possess some features that are unique to its kind. It's features like these that allow scientists to tell them apart from other animals. Amongst the features of the deep sea crown jelly atolla, a characteristic scarlet color, and it has one tentacle much longer than the others. But 15 years ago, MBARI discovered this exact same species of jellyfish, only it lacked this longer tentacle. They had found a new and unknown species. Who knows what else we might find lurking down there. Before we begin, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. That brings us to this video's strange topic. Here is a photo submitted by one of our trusted sources last week. In it, we see a bone-chilling creature rising from the ocean. This creature looks humanoid and it could be assumed that it rose from the very bottom of the ocean. It's also possible that it could be some sort of unknown machine that was accidentally spotted and sent over to us. Needless to say, it does look frightening. What do you guys think of this? Do you think that this might be a real creature, a monster, a machine, or just a hoax? Share your comments with the hashtag strange topic and we'll pin the ones that can best explain what is going on in this picture. With that said, let's proceed. Number 19. The Manasu Steamship the sea is notorious for gobbling up sunken ships. Many of the ships that have met fates like this are still to be discovered. And yeah, I'm not sure how much of the pirates of the Caribbean you might have seen as a kid, but I'm not sure you'd be finding any giant chest of treasure buried with them, or will you? Well, treasure hunting aside, there is one particular ship that had been resurfaced since its disappearance after it set sail on the frigid seas 90 years ago. The Manasu steamship was a real thing of beauty back in her days, but unfortunately all of that beauty and elegance was lost at sea somewhere at the Georgian Bay. When something has been lost for close to a century, you start to lose all hope of ever finding it, and that was exactly the case here. It seemed like the great tale of such a magnificent vessel would slowly drown away, along with the vessel herself at the frigid ocean. A couple of years later, a group of divers did something that it seems divers are the most capable at doing nowadays. They uncovered the lost remains of this long lost ship, and I've got to tell you, words couldn't describe the surprise they caused when they found her. And no, it's not because there were any treasure buried there, but because of how strangely preserved the ship was. Number 18. USS Greyback, Missing WW2 Submarine Found After 75 Years the World War II is filled with a lot of extraordinary stories and some of the juiciest conspiracy theories in the market of conspiracy theories. From anything like aliens being involved with the war, to Nazis using psychic powers to give themselves an edge, it's all pretty extreme. But moving outside of the things that can't be proven, there are still some mysteries that have been buried since the war. And this right here is a relic that fits right into that category. The USS Greyback, a serious nightmare to Navy personals of the time, and a monster at sea. But then again, what could be scarier than an iron shark that fires missiles out of its sides? Remember how I told you that World War II was full of mysteries? Well, here's a little briefing about how this submarine ended up at the bottom of the ocean in the first place. Even though Japan and Germany seemed like allies at the time, they didn't always get along. 
This submarine was downed by a Japanese aircraft, and both this underwater contraption and its 80 vanished into the oblivion. It was only recently that a team of underwater explorers found the sub off the coast of Okinawa in Japan. Talk about a blast from the past. Number 17. Massive Pipes Wash Up on a Beach in England when you think of the kinds of things that could wash AP at the shore, you'd probably think of seashells, bottles with hidden messages in them, 8-foot long pipes that look like they could easily crush you if they're not careful. Okay, maybe you wouldn't think of that last one, but I'm here to let you know that odds are that you might see something like that wash up at shore. So do be on a bit of a lookout the next time you're on a beach day. Maybe this advice would have been more useful to the inhabitants of England at the time this giant pipe segments have washed up on the coast of Norfolk. Even though these pipes were plastic, they were still pretty humongous. I'm talking an exact measurement of 8 feet, or 2.4 meters, with the longest beach segment being about 1,574 feet, or 480 meters long. The pipes came loose when a transport boat was moving them from Algeria. I'm not so sure what they wanted to do with pipes of those sizes, but you could bet it was a big project. The coastal guards announced that the pipes wouldn't bear any kind of harm to the people nor the ecosystem, which was great. They were eventually extracted and taken to their originally intended destination. Number 16. Giant Lego Man Washes Up on Florida Beach Okay, unless you were there when this one happened, you'd probably be in for a shocker. I know we already mentioned how easy it could be for anything to wash up at shore. As a matter of fact, it might have seemed logical to assume that anything could wash up at shore. But come on, this is just too bizarre. For those of you who like to show up at the beach with a metal detector, you might want to get a bigger one. On the shores of the Florida beach, a Lego man nearly the size of a full-grown person was found washed up at the shores of the beach. As you could probably imagine, the folks over there positively perplexed as to how, the why, and the from where of the whole situation. According to a report in the Sarasota Herald Tribune, this bright red, yellow, and green Lego man was discovered by a man named Jeff Heinemann, who had been going out for a walk on the Siesta Key Beach in Sarasota County. It was around 7 a.m. on a Tuesday, and there he was, lying lifeless on the seashore. Okay, maybe he wasn't dead, seeing as you'd have to be alive first, but still, you can't help but wonder where exactly this Lego man came from, and how it ended up there. Number 15. North Korean Ghost Ships Ghosts don't only exist at graveyards and haunted houses, you know. It turns out that if these phantoms of an unfortunate deceased really do exist, then you'd definitely be seeing a lot of them at the ocean where so many have perished. It's no surprise though how many people would risk going out to sea despite how easy it was to lose one's life, especially in a place like North Korea. In this country, their main export goods to countries like China are fish that they often catch at sea. Usually, the vessels that depart to find these valuable fishes are either ran by military crew or rented from the military by civilians hoping to make ends meet. Unfortunately, the sea can be very cold, harsh, and extremely unforgiving. If the extremely cold temperatures and an intermittently stormy weather doesn't kill you, then a lack thereof of food will. Often, the sea can be very merciful when it came back to giving it back a lot of things that it took away in the first place, like the ships that the fishermen voyaged on. It is these empty ships that are referred to as ghost ships. So always remember, when you meet a ship that's at sea, and there seems to be no one in them, it's best you stay on high alert. What got these men could easily get to you. Number 14. Submarine-like object washes ashore on Highland Beach. The sea is a great place to hide things that you wouldn't want anyone else to see. This would probably explain why it seems like you could just find out about anything there, if you look hard enough. In the past, a strange thing was discovered about 150 yards off the coast of Highland Beach. It looked like a submarine to most, but when you look at it, you just can't help but think to yourself, what kind of weird-looking submarine is this? Because the ocean can be really generous at times, it washed this unknown steel contravention ashore about 150 yards off the coast of Highland Beach. When asked about this puzzling vessel, the US Coast Guard who went by the name of Lieutenant Commander Eric Parr revealed that suspicion that the vessel could have been used to smuggle drugs into the country. Monsoons on the side and a hole in the middle that had migrants on it. Although this seems very unlikely as most subs or crafts that would want to snuggle drugs in the country 
would just take routes like the Deep Caribbean off the coast of South America. And if that wasn't working, they could also use the Eastern Pacific on the Mexican side, or even the Pacific coast. It simply made no sense for a weird looking submarine to be that far north. While the sub-like vessel is still yet to be identified, you could leave in the descriptions what you think this vessel is. Number 13. Oldest message in a bottle found on Western Australia Beach. Speaking of things that are often lost at sea, I'm pretty sure that we made mention of messages in bottles. If you were to ever find one of those, then you could be certain of one thing at least. The person who wrote that message was in serious danger. Or he just wanted to order pizza on an island that didn't have good network. But still, sending messages in a bottle wasn't something that you'd only see in movies, and this means of calling out for help when stranded or marooned has been going on for a really, really long time. I'm talking centuries long. As a matter of fact, a great proof of this recently got washed up and discovered, and I've got to tell you, it's one hell of an ancient proof. On a remote beach somewhere in the western part of Australia, a Perth family discovered what might just be the world's oldest known message in a bottle. The age of the message had been estimated to be almost 132 years, and this after it was thrown into the sea. The exact age of the message has been dated to the 12th of June in the year 1886. It is believed to have been jettisoned from a German ship by the name of Paula. Number 12. Whale Fall If you look into the night sky, you'd see that the universe is a master at self-sustaining itself. Just take the stars for instance. When the time comes for the stars to die, the really big ones go out as a supernova an explosion that blows the dying star to smithereens, scattering matter into space which will serve as nourishment for new stars. This analogy is very similar to what happens where on Earth at sea. One of the largest organisms in the sea, whales often pay for the survival of the rest of the little guys. Whenever a whale dies, its carcass is what is known as whale fall. This giant, dead lump of fat, meat, and oil is super nutritious to smaller organisms in the area and it helps to revitalize and nourish the sea's biome. Especially when your plan for a nice Saturday afternoon was a quality time at the beach. Sometimes it's possible for the waves to wash these whale carcasses to the shore. This is actually not as uncommon as you might think. Well, you could at least look on the bright side. Many of the things you could get from whales, like their oils and meat, both of which are economically important, now can just be harvested without the need to set sail. Number 11. The Red Deep Sea Siphonophore For those of you that might not know, siphonophorans are transparent, hydra-like organisms that live in the sea. These hydrozoan life forms come in all manner of colors. Really, these guys are like aquatic gumballs, except minus the whole, well, minus everything but the colors. Siphonophorans are colonial creatures which are composed of specialized segments which work together in unison. So far, an impressive 175 siphonophore species have described so far, but it would seem that one attracts the most attention. Mostly due to its rarity and how beautiful it looks, is this deep, crimson species called Marus clydanulus. Just like most other siphonophore species no till date, the Marus clydanulus can be found, albeit with a bit of difficulty, at the depths of the Monterey Bay and even beyond that. The Marus clydanulus was described by MBARI researchers and their collaborators in 2005, finally demystifying them to most. The scientific name which was given to it was done in honor of the husband and wife team. Claude and Danielle Carey, who are renowned for their contributions towards the understanding of the siphonophore biology. Number 10. The Glass Sponge I'm sure that some of you might have heard of the show, if not even watched it yourself, called SpongeBob SquarePants. Now, as his name suggests, he's a sponge, a lemony yellow underwater sponge of pure madness. And even though he might not be as real as the rest of his spongy brethren, Spongebob still sets a pretty good example of sponges. Now, the glass sponge means exactly what its name implies. It's sponge that's made of glass. Well, sort of. This species are made up of special tissues that hold tiny glass-like structures which are composed mainly of silica. There are even some species of glass sponges which produce really large spicules that are fused together to form some spectacularly beautiful patterns. It's this structure that biologists rightfully termed as glass houses. 
These skeletons are so hard and devoid of decomposable components that they remain even long after the sponge is dead. What might just be the most famous glass sponge in the world is a species of Euplectula, known as the Venus Flower Basket. These guys actually build a symbolic relationship with certain crustaceans. They do this by building their skeleton in a way that entraps the crustacean. In short, I wouldn't be surprised if you ran to the beach with a catching net and a bucket. Just remember that you need to swim really far and really deep into the ocean, something that I wouldn't recommend, ever. Number 9. Fossilized Face of Ancient Beaked Whale Skull Talk about coming face to face with an ancient mug that's older than that Thanksgiving wine holed up in your cellar. But really though, what else would you expect to find when you go exploring a place that not many have ever ventured to explore before? That was the case with this team who chose to excavate the unsearched Quixote Seamont in Papahana Mokakuya Marine National Monument. It was here that this team came across a fascinating discovery. They discovered Atlantis. Okay, not Atlantis, but they did discover something pretty cool too. Tucked away in the deep, dark wetness was a fossilized skull of the peculiar ancient beaked whale. The skull was found around 2,390 meters, that is 7,841 feet on the northern side of the peak. Spotting the skull wasn't easy as it blended pretty well with the surrounding basalt lava flows, both of which are covered by a thick manganese polymetallic rock coating. So what does this all mean? Well, this shows that this skull might have been buried there for at least a couple of hundreds of thousands of years. Heck, it has even been estimated to be millions of years old, so pretty old. Here's a question, could you guess what a prehistoric predator was doing so close to the ocean floor in the first place? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Number 8. The Grenada Underwater Sculpture Park Have you ever been to an exhibition where some beautiful paintings or structures are placed in full display? Well, if you're into that sort of thing and you like the ocean, then you'd be happy to know that you might never find any better sculpture exhibition anywhere else on Earth than under the sea. Just ask Sebastian, he'll tell you. This is the underwater escapade of Grenada, and I've got to tell you, you'd need to be here to understand just how amazing the view is. Of course, not everyone might share the same enthusiasm towards the place. Seeing as it strikes some nerve, racking semblance to some subterranean graveyard. Whatever your view of this place might be, I'm almost certain that anyone would still want to see it for themselves. So there you have it folks, if you were searching for a great reason to pay Grenada a visit for, say a vacation, you've got this underwater sculpture park to give you that motivation. Of course, it does help that the place of Grenada is also a pretty nice place to be in general, especially if you're just looking for a place to get away from it all, if you know what I mean. Number 7. The Giant Oarfish If you're a fan of seafood, then try not to drool too much on the screen. Besides, the chances of finding anyone who'd be serving giant oarfish is pretty slim. These guys are notoriously hard to find, but fret not, the ocean isn't short of seafood to satiate your cravings. So again, quit drooling on the screen. This elusive, elongated fish belongs to the Regalcidae family, and did I mention before how hard they were to find? Seriously, these guys are so not into being seen that they've been able to elude scientists for many years. It's so sad that scientists aren't able to tell just what's going on with these guys. There is the suspicion that they might be an endangered, also known as the ribbonfish, streamerfish, king of herrings, and pacific oarfish, it is the largest living bony fish on the planet have been around for a long while, and depending on who saw them, they've gone by many names over the years, some of which are the ribbonfish, streamerfish, king of herrings, and pacific oarfish. Despite their shyness, they are easily the largest living bony fish on the planet, so gentle giants then. Number 6. The Frilled Shark Sharks are probably the most controversial species on the planet. You fear them, heck, you might even hate them, but despite all this, you can't still help but admit, sharks are super duper cool. There are so many species of sharks that have already been discovered by biologists over the years and it wouldn't be surprising to know that many of these species are bare are actually well known. But as with everything, there are always exceptions. Here's that one species of sharks that actually exist, but you might have never heard about it, the frilled shark. 
You might not even believe that a shark like this even exists, given its most prehistoric look like it swam out of an encyclopedia. They live at the open ocean, spending a bulk of their time at the deep, dark waters close to the ocean floor and far below the sea surface. So that could be the best possible reason not many have heard of this freak of nature of a shark. Animals that live so close to the ocean floor seldom have any reason to show themselves. Its body is very cylindrical in shape, not too far from most sharks, and it can reach a length of about 7 feet or 2 meters. If you're wondering why it's got such a weird name, it's because of the frilly look of its gills, certainly a trait unique to its species. Number 5. The SS Central America Steamship Remember how we talked about the Pirates of the Caribbean, treasures and the like? Well, this might be the closest to that that we get. This large vessel was carrying a wealth of treasure when it was claimed by the frigid sea, and yes, I'm talking gold treasure. The total loss that was incurred by the sinking of that ship was a whopping $50 million. It was so bad that till date, it's still considered as the greatest lost treasure in the history of the United States. The things that were lost when the ship sank were gold bars, gold coins, and dust. So yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean. As I mentioned before, people start to lose hope of finding lost things at sea. This becomes even more so by the time a good 150 years passes by with no hope of finding it. But it's like they always say, sometimes lost things have their way of finding its path back to you. You've just got to be patient though. It's a normal day at California, and to everyone's surprise, what had been lost for a well over a century had washed up on the shore. A miracle, to say the least, although not all the lost treasure were present aboard the ship, with only 3,100 gold coins, 45 gold bars, and more than 80 pounds of gold dust being recovered from the wreckage. Number 4. Divers come face to face with giant sunfish in rare encounter. Now this is a breathtaking encounter, it truly is. It's not all the time that you decide to go diving with the rest of your scuba buddies that you come this close to the infamous giant sunfish. Encounters like these are so rare that not many people have been able to even spot these fishes talk more of swimming with them. I've got to say, I'm a bit envious of these divers who found this sunfish. If your swim time felt amazing, then sharing it with the sunfish would make it even more so. As the name implies, the giant sunfish are, well, gigantic, and might be a bit overwhelming for most to come as close as these enthusiastic divers did. Even though we couldn't be there to share in the experience, I've got to say, it was still a bit fascinating watching it. The way the sunfish kept opening and closing its mouth as it swam gave justifiable chills, especially when you consider just how bizarre the experience is. The whole thing was caught on camera by photographer Miguel Pereira. Number 3. Spooky Turtle Graveyard Discovered Lying on Bed of Indian Ocean Okay, graveyards are super creepy, there's no denying that. There's also no denying that a lot of animals would have surely died at the sea. Heck, there have been many scenarios where people died at the sea. Yes, people. So what makes this scene look so damn scary? A diver made a chilling discovery, a weird one to say the least. It was what could have only been described as a grave, a turtle's grave. The footage that was captured by the driver showed almost well-assembled skeletal remains of the turtle, neatly stacked, complete with the shell, looking like an underwater horror show. The diver who made this spooky discovery went by the name of Josh Vergara, a 34-year-old who hails from the Philippines. He found the tomb of this turtle at the Sipadan Island in Malaysia while he was on holiday on the 26th of March. I hope the scene didn't ruin the holiday experience for him. I don't know, probably would for some. Now, unless there might actually be some sort of unknown tradition amongst turtles to bury their dead in tombs, the only other possible explanation of what happened here is that the turtle got stuck and died due tomorrow a lack of oxygen. The bones of a dead dolphin was even discovered nearby with a fate very similar to that of what this turtle must have experienced. Number 2. The Sunken Roman City of Bai We've heard many times of the great and elusive city of Atlantis which sank to the bottom of the ocean. 
It's a great story, and one that has inspired many fictional works. But as cool as it might sound, we're still yet to discover any subterranean city that sunk to the bottom of the ocean and is the home of fish people. But here is one city that really is at the bottom of the ocean, one that not many of you might have heard of, the lost Roman city of Baiae. This city was the home to all manner of wealthy and influential individuals, a paradise that was well known for being one of the most remarkable cities that the Romans owned. It even sat atop a natural volcanic vent, so the hot pools that the city had were a thing to truly enjoy. Unfortunately, all good things tend to come to an end, and this city was no exception to this. In the 18th century, a Muslim army arrived at the door of the city and sacked it for spoils. The city was devastated and it never recovered. It was eventually abandoned, left to the elements. The water slowly rose and swallowed up this formerly luxurious city, never to be seen again. A truly terrible ending indeed. Number 1. Glass Octopus and that brings us to the last entry on this list. I hope it's been a real adventure. If so, then do smash that like button. And if this is the kind of content that you like to see, then hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you can always know whenever I upload a new video. Now let's get back to it. This might just be the greatest justifier of the title of this list. These mollusks look like they escaped from an alien ship that crash landed on our planet. Maybe someone should phone those kids from Stranger Things. Despite how peculiar they might look, these glass octopus actually lived in almost every part of the globe. So here's another reason to go to the beach. You might never know if you'd find them, although that's very unlikely. These species, just like most other octopus species, aren't very fond of people. Or anything that stays close to the surface and looks for trouble for that matter. Which is why they tend to spend a good amount of time deep on the sea. So don't have your hopes of forever getting to spot one of these aliens in the sea. That's it with this list of creepiest things found in the ocean. Which one did you guys have been the creepiest? Which did you think was the coolest? Also, check out some of our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. Until next time.